In this short video, we'll show you how to change the internal battery pack on the Frog data logger from ISODAC technology. Once you have your new battery pack, you'll require one medium sized Phillips screwdriver and carefully remove the three screws from the electrical connector end of the Frog logger. Once the screws are released, uh, they should remain in the cap. You gently loosen the top cap, remove it from the body, grip the PCB, and slide it out of the casing. Now we're ready to fit the new battery pack. First of all, we'll remove the old battery pack, unclip the three pin plug. From the end of the PCB and gently remove the battery pack. The new battery pack is adhered to the PCB via two uh, industrial Velcro pads and reattach the flying lead back to the PCB. We're now ready to reassemble the frog data logger. Insert the PCB into the aluminium casing using the guide rail inside the casing for the purpose. Gently ease the PCB into the case using the edges of the PCB if required. Carefully check that the O-ring in the cap is seated in the groove and not protruding. Offer the cap up to the body and ensure that the O-ring does not fall out of the groove and that no wires are actually trapped between the cap and the body. Gently replace the end cap, hold in place and retighten the three Phillips screws. It should be noted that these screws should not be over tightened. Do not use a torque wrench or any other device. They should just be finger tight. With the design of the cap, it is quite common to see a small gap between the cap and the body. This is completely normal and in no way reduces the IP rating. Finally, check the gap, check the seal, make sure no wires are trapped. The O-ring is not trapped. Thank you for watching this short demonstration video from Isodac Technology.